Alrighty, so this is the version two of a previous video. Uh, this is going to be going over the Unified Systems Manager as of today, December 15th of 2024. I'm not sure when this video is going to release, so I'm just going to date that right now just for anybody watching this in the future. Uh, there could be changes made to USM, and in that case, we'll, we'll make another video uh, to describe those changes. But as of today, this is a walkthrough for the USM in its current state. Uh, USM stands for Unified Systems Manager. This is how you configure and edit your dispatch console, whether that's the talk groups, pager resources, uh, any additional users you want to have access to edit your console, um, who you want to access your console. That's a new feature that wasn't discussed in the previous version of this video. So uh, we'll just go ahead and dive right into it. So uh, once you purchase script, you'll be provided with uh, your off key, your dispatch console, and your USM key. Uh, what we're going to focus on is the USM key that you receive in your ticket. So just as a note, any keys you see in this video, um, they're all going to be deactivated once this video is being edited. So uh, don't try anything is what I'm getting at. So if you are the original purchaser, the customer, you will be able to click on the button that says log in with SCN account. This integrates with Discord SSO so that you don't even have to have your key. Um, typically, what we would recommend is you do not publicize your key. You don't give it to your admins or anybody you want to have access. Uh, you keep that key to yourself because what I'll show you in a little bit is that that same login button, you can configure it to have other users to have access to USM without needing to give them the physical key. So think of the key as almost like a recovery step. Um, when you purchase it, we automatically provision your account and you should be able to just click the button and log in right away. You don't even have to punch the key in, but you know, to each their own. So you punch in your USM key, which looks like that, and you click on select key. Once you select your key, you're now going to be in USM. Again, this is a demo community. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drum up some traffic here uh, on a another monitor. So by default, the console is not secure, which we'll get into the security settings, but USM includes some cool functions. So when you transmit on a radio, which should appear maybe because this console is not provisioned properly since it's a demo unit, when you transmit, receive whatever, any function of the radio in game on a dispatch console should appear on USM. Uh, again, this one's not fully provisioned, so you won't see anything under system log or system channels uh, that will show up. You'll be able to see when somebody turns their radio on, when they change talk groups, when they transmit, when they stop transmitting, when they turn the radio off. All that information will be shown in the system log. Um, but again, this is not fully provisioned since it's a demo version. so bear with on that you'll see it when you uh, get your own so we'll just go ahead and start from the top down here so under console management you have your security settings uh, this is your discord SSO checkbox so when you enable this uh, your dispatch console you will not be able to access it unless you have the permission to the permission system for that is under the USM management so if you want to create a new user, let's just create a new user here. You name it whatever you want to name it, um, you know. And their Discord ID, let's just do this and just rip across the keyboard. Okay, and account type. There's a couple of different account types. So you as the owner will have overall, you own it, that's you. And that only should be the customer that purchases it. I would not recommend that role being given to anybody else. USM administrator, as it says there, allows this, this role allows people to assign 
users. So if you have, let's say, a, a communications director or something like that that needs to give access to their staff, this is the role that they would need. Uh, USM Manager is kind of a similar role. It allows you to make some uh, changes with the talk groups, tones, uh, groups, etc. That stuff, but it cannot add or remove additional users. And then Dispatch Console only. What that allows you to do is that's what you give to your rank and file or whoever you want to have access to the Dispatch Console. Just the console, no USM, no nothing, just the console as a dispatch user. So this is where you would assign those permissions and you would just hit save users, configuration saved. Okay. Now let's get into the uh, channels. So some people find this a little bit difficult to understand. Um, so that's why, you know, we try to make these videos uh, as brief, but dense as possible. So you can kind of just figure it out. Um, by default, you're provided with the dispatch configuration for the default code plugs that are in game. So it's plug and play. If you don't want to do any customizations, you don't have to. You can rock the default in game code plugs and you can use the dispatch console right out of the box. But if you like tweaking on the different settings and making it, you know, specific to your community, once you venture into CPS, which we have a video about, if you want to get into that, that's in there somewhere on our channel I'm sure you can find it but you will also need to make changes in here um, this is something that comes up a lot is that USM is only for console management it's not for in-game code plug management that's what CPS is for um, so just keep in mind if you make changes in here it's not going to reflect in-game you need to go do that in CPS and again uh, we have a video regarding that on our channel. So if you want to change a channel, you can very easily do it. Click on the channel you want to change. Name, talk group number, encryption key. If you are running encryption, this is like the number one most open ticket. If you are running encryption, the key that you use in CPS for the in-game code plugs, 100% has to match the key in USM. If they do not match, it will not work. You will just see the box light up green, but you will not have any audio whatsoever. So if you're going to use it, make sure they match. If you're not gonna use it, leave it blank in USM and uncheck the box in CPS. Expanded, uh, that will, we'll kind of get into that. I'll go ahead and enable what an expanded one looks like on my demo console here. And hopefully we can go over that. Um, if things behave because sometimes things are buggy but I think we've got most of those bugs ironed out channel group this is your groups you can set it to whatever groups you uh, define which will be our next topic so we're just gonna leave this one on law okay we're gonna go ahead and uh, close the channels menu so that it's not taking up the whole screen groups group management so we're just gonna again kind of move forward with that law dispatch channel since we are already tweaking it a little bit this is how you make groups, right? If you want to rename it, delete it, create a new one, whatever you want to do. Very simple. This is just the tabs on the console to change between uh, channel sets. So pretty self-explanatory. Tone sets. These are quick call to tones. So these are more used for like fire, you know, mainly, mainly fire, EMS, maybe DOT, uh, whatever you want to use them for. But these can be a little bit confusing. So underneath tone set management, you have your tones and we're going to go with the LS all called. Again, this is all the default. This is this whole, I just provisioned this panel five minutes ago. This is how the out of the box solution looks. So you have your name of your tone, the talk group number that the tone is on. That is important. So in this case, it's on talk group 21, which is fire dispatch. Um, make sure this matches whatever you want it to play on so if you want it to play on you know fire dispatch fd ops fd command whatever you want to do it make sure that you have this match because if you don't set that field you're not going to hear the tones over that talk group then you have your tone one and tone two and we'll, we'll come back here in a second and then channel group again 
you want this to show up on the fire tab. So set the channel group to fire. The tone sets. Now these are editable. These follow the Motorola Quick Call 2 tone standard. So these are not in Hertz. Uh, one, 112 is not 112 Hertz. Uh, I will put a link in the description of this video or in the top comment, either, either one of those that shows a, a, a chart that is quick call to tone number, which in this case is like 112 and what that is in Hertz tone frequency. Uh, if you don't care, if you don't want to dive into it, just choose two that you like that sound good and call it a day. Uh, some of you I know out there like to mimic real tones from a, a real department or whatever the case is. So you can get down into that nitty gritty if you want. So once you set these two tones, you can hit the play tone button and what you should hear is the tone and we'll test that now. So there's your tone. So you can make changes inside of here. Say you want it to be 128, 209, right? You then can hit play tone. Which is very painful, but that way you don't have to set the tone, save it, go reload your console, check your console. Oh, I didn't like it. You can just do it all live right here. So once you get all that done, you hit save console configuration. There is a huge uh, message here that a lot of people miss, uh, which is another big ticket item, um, which is your configuration has been saved. Users may need to hard refresh the dispatch console to see changes. People don't see the hard refresh part or they don't know what it means. So they go over to their dispatch console. In this case, here's our dispatch console. And this is my first time loading it on Chrome. So there was no cache, but if you make a change, so let's go in here just for the sake of the video. And let's name this law dispatch uh, 998. Um, if you know, you know. I'm gonna hit save console configuration. And I'm gonna go ahead and control R, refresh the console. Of course, that I'm doing it on video, it's gonna work every time. But most of the time, what you'll need to do is press the control F5 key on your keyboard, which dumps that specific tab's cache. Um, you won't see the changes if you don't do this most of the time. So that's kind of what that spurs from. So if you make a change in uh, USM and you're not seeing it on the dispatch panel right away, hit control F5, that should clear that up. Um, if you see any like configuration save failures or anything like that, there's most likely a missing field somewhere in your uh, setup here that you need to take care of. So just go back and look through it and try to figure it out. So here is that expanded option we were discussing. And this is not a full rundown of the dispatch console, but I'm just showing off some of the things that we discussed and, and what that actually correlates to in USM. So recent calls will actually allow you to see not your calls. Of course, my audio settings are all wonked out here on Chrome because it's not my main browser, but see if I can try it over here of course it doesn't work on a different window either but when you go to PTT your in-game units will show up here uh, the time and their unit ID will show up there um, and again as we were discussing your fire tones as you can see the tone is on the fire page this 21 correlates to the 21 the talker number 21 for fire dispatch and if you listen to that tone, and of course I didn't have the audio set properly. If you listen to that tone, there's that very painful tone that we set in USM. So that's USM. That's the basics. That should get you up and running. Uh, we have another video regarding the dispatch console. We will probably do an updated video on that one soon hopefully but that should get you up and running with usm if you have any questions feel free to reach out by our ticket system 
just open up a ticket and we'll be happy to work with you on it. But with that, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe or whatever the uh, hip YouTubers say nowadays and have a good one.